Light from a discharge lamp comprised of two wavelengths, 640 and 480. One is red, one is green. Um, they pass through the grating. So um, here right on the diagram that I've drawn, you can see right the red one will, um, the first order of the red light right, will be found at a greater angle than the green light. Uh, similarly, right, the second order of the red light right, will be even bigger oh, than the green light. And perhaps right, at some point uh, along the way, right, the lower order red light may actually right, uh, overlap, okay, be found at the same angular position as the green light. So we have uh, red on one side and green on the other side, right? We are saying, right, that the theta for the uh, n will catch up with the theta for the m plus 1, okay, for the other guy. So let us be clear, this for red and this for green, oh, and they will be equals to each other. So you will have, right, uh, hence, let look, let's look at the equation again, sine theta equals to n lambda, right? So theta right, is equals to n lambda over d. So we write that into this equation here. So we have the n of the lambda of the rate, okay, divided by the d, which will cancel out each other because they exist on both sides. So I will not write that. That's equals to m plus 1 here for the lambda of the green, okay. With that, right, uh, let's write out one more step and you can see that it's very apparent. So n times of 640 is equals to n plus 1 times of 480. We can see, right, 640 is uh, 4 is to 3. Oh, 640 to 4, 480 is 4 is to 3. Hence, right, the other one will have been 4 is to 3. So n must have been uh, third order. So the order of red light, right, that overlap with a green one will be the third order. Answer B.